What in the name of super cooled cloud is going on here? We have a spiked crystal ball here at the Blue Hill Weather Observatory in southern Massachusetts. Well, in Massachusetts, and we can't believe how cold it is. The first good snowstorm for the east has departed, and now we're left with winter 2015 16 saying, I am for real. We had a few areas shut by wind. Sorry about that, Cannon, but it brought 5 to 10 inches of Tuesday snow, followed by Wednesday chill and leftover powder skiing. Thank you. Now we have a transition into more of a stable winter pattern. Uh, next up, the little bit of mountain snow, a few inches Wednesday night, leaves us with some pretty nice last day of 2015 skiing. New Year's Eve looks like festive flakes with a, another week low going by and a week front coming in. So that sets up a, a Friday that's nice. New Year's Day, it's going to be comfortable, not too windy, not too cold, but just right. Snow guns are on, terrain is expanding. The weekend looks pretty exciting. For a change, it looks like just as much snow in the east as the west. Well, maybe the Sierra Nevada range gets a little more. But we have an Arctic front coming in. The timing is difficult. It's going to be perhaps a little surge on Saturday. You know with an Arctic front, there's going to be cold and wind. Looks like the heart of that's going to be later on Sunday. That's going to produce snow uh, right off Hudson Bay and the lakes. It's going to come all the way into New York. and. Finally, Pennsylvania and even areas in uh, southern New York may get some snow, and certainly Quebec and Ontario, northern Maine. Uh, northern Maine, it's not fair what's going on at Sugarloaf. Welcome uh, uh, to winter. Sugarloaf came early, 15 to 20 inches last few days. But by Sunday, it looks like a, a, a J cloud, a cannon cloud. Thank you, Greg Keeler, for this video. We'll set up. So we have a, a nice winter pattern. Next week is going to be pretty cold on Monday and Tuesday, sub-zero air, so the gun's going to go on, the train's going to expand, and then the big ticket item could be a coastal storm late next week and the one after that. question is how much cold is going to be around. Right now, odds favor the cold sticking around. Today is a pretty good example of they blew the forecast. Yesterday I thought it would be 40 here, instead it's 27. You know what this stuff is called? It's called hoar frost. Very rare. I've never seen this down here before. Uh, so it's a good sign. It's a sign that we will not match 1982 for grim lack of snow. 2007, we're going to go better than that one too. 15, 16, off to a much better start. See you on the slopes. Thank you, Peter, for making that video. What's that called right there? This history right here yeah. is called the Campbell Stokes Sunshine Recorder. <laughs> What's that stuff on it? This is called horror ice. And it's caused by super cooled water droplets that form with little spikes on there. They're very fragile. They're not sharp. So if you touch one, it just comes right off. Hoar frost. Hoar ice.